Hello and welcome to another episode of Trending Issues on social media on Vanguard Life. Uh, we'll run with you the highlights of today and uh, we have hashtag Buhari has failed, uh, hashtag malaria, hashtag special package and also on stories on Instagram we have um, Kelvin Odans, he talks about how uh, ladies can end up to 50k per month in Nigeria and actually stay in their job comfortably for five years. And also, Tokyo Makiwa also speaks about her being single and um, how she feels she's selfish as well. And Osi Sway is also an OAP and he talks about, um, you know, posting your partner's picture to validate her faithfulness is childish. But you know what's going to happen? We're going to go on a very short break. When we come back, we'll fill you in with this juice. I'm not alone. I have someone who is really interesting in the studio as well. So we'll be back after this break. Hello and welcome back and of course uh, it's me Precious Chukudi and I have with me my co-host Hi, I'm Vine by name okay. I'm here chilling with the beautiful lady <laughs> Alright Vine, let's just do this real quick and uh, we're talking about uh, Buhari has failed uh, that's the hashtag trending on uh, Twitter and I'll take this one from Aye Mojuba mm. and she says uh, breaking Boko Haram release new video kills Nigerian soldier policeman I hope there will be an administration that will have some hard talk session with uh, President Buhari and uh, let me take this one from uh, Nefertiti she says that uh, 27 years after we are still stuck with uh, same men who saw MQ appear last suffering and death. Same Tinubu and Buhari faces in his 1993. A 27 year old man must have left his father's house while Bacha's men are still eating from alien daddy. Mm. Well, that's what she means. But you want to take something? Yeah, on? Aye Mojube, right? Yes, right? Mojube. Yeah, the most dangerous set of humans on earth are not bad people but deceptive individuals. Why? They create an impression of being somebody they are not. They are same time wasters, they are time wasters and life wasters. Sadly, you fell for this deceit from the pits of hell. Wow. Hmm. That one is a very strong, strong one. Words, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. really strong. All right, so we move away from hashtag where has failed to malaria. And why is malaria trending? People are saying that uh, there is supposed to be a foreign symptoms of malaria coming, but we don't get it. Some people are saying, come on, this is related to COVID-19. Some other persons are saying, no, this is a new symptom. Like so malaria. New malaria in yeah, exactly. So, well, let me take this one from Fat Belly Nye. Ne ne she says that, uh, what is this new strain of malaria that all of you are having and you can't taste or smell? Are you people kidding me? That's COVID-19. <laughs> Suddenly your entire household can neither taste nor smell anything and they all have fever and headaches and you still think it's a new strain of malaria? Since, since when is malaria a communicable disease? Yeah. Since when is it a communicable disease? All right, uh, so you want to go from that point? Yeah, that was said. I just saw a tweet saying a new strain of malaria associated with losing your sense of smell and taste. La, 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 laugh aloud. Eh? Mm -hmm. Better go and do COVID tests, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so let's take this one from Timmy Ajibo. He says, My brain has refused to process people concluding that it's a new strain of malaria as opposed to the very present very real global uh covid pandemic uh instablog is also saying something and you're yeah. saying that it's not malaria if you're losing your sense of taste and smell yeah. uh take this one from jemima oshundi uh, okay so please there's lots of loss of smell and taste are symptoms of covid19 unless you and your family members share your body structures you know, is that it it's highly Okay, there's uh, the information missing there. Uh, continuation there. 
please, there's lots of smell and taste are symptoms of COVID-19. Unless you and your family members are sharing your body structure, it is highly unlikely that all of you will have malaria at once with these symptoms. Malaria is not a communicable disease. You've got the virus on. Well, mm, I think it's the virus. Lots of tears there. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, lots of taste, and we got to hear this particular symptom when mm. COVID 19 came. But, but then again, could it be that this is something different from coronavirus, malaria, or something? Mm. Because basically, I think mm. doctors should be able to. Yeah, know, but it's just that everything that has to do with lots of taste has been. Are you sure you don't have coronavirus? Lately. <laughs> exactly. So this is from Ferra Jack Phoenix. He says, uh, if I go 10 minutes without being able to taste or smell anything, I would know I would know instantly that this can be malaria. You people have had malaria countless times and you believe new symptoms can just develop from nowhere. Mm. Me too, I don't believe. Oh. All right, uh, we have this one from H Pretty Sweet and she says, Nigerians lying to themselves that there's a new strain of malaria to avoid accepting the possibility mm -hmm. that they have corona is the funniest thing I have witnessed. And this Same one says, as me too. Henry Okelo says, almost every Nigerian has had malaria before. It does not come with loss of taste or smell. No, there's new, there's no new strain of malaria that comes with loss of smell or taste. If there is Ministry of Health or who would have announced it, loss of taste or smell is a symptom of COVID. Yes, because I'm, the other person made a very valid, valid point. Yeah. It is a new yeah. symptom. I mean, we would have heard it uh, mm -hmm. from WHO, would have heard it from NCDC. But, but, but then it looks like this is a kind of defensive mechanism where people want to stick to this kind of like malaria thing instead mm -hmm. of saying they are COVID-19 patients. Yeah, especially now because now we're not having community transfer. Yeah. And people contracting the virus as a result of everybody's now out on the loose. And so just then the other state governor, he was who contracted the virus. And of course he was speaking from his isolation, isolation place that uh, it's not a death sentence. Mm. People who have this disease or virus should also, you know, just do the necessary things and then not believing that start hiding your identity mm. or your status or something. Of course. It's more keen actually. All right, so we moved to a very interesting one, and this one is special package. I mean, with yes, special package, you know that this is a special kind of package that uh, you've never seen before. And then this is coming from Twitter, and why is it trending? Okay, so I'll take this one from your favorite online doctor. I'll take it, then explain what is making it trend. And your favorite online doctor says, a woman sells special package to another woman to tie down a rich man who may be married. It is just being, is it? It is just being smart. This may mean ruining another woman's marriage and bringing her pain. Women ruining each other, but calling it empowerment. Don't you love this generation? <laughs> well, mm, I don't know what to say about that one. No. But the truth of the matter is that, you know, we have some people who are Kayamata sellers, uh, aphrodisiac sellers, and some of them basically, you know, sell all of all these things. And they say the miracle eye, golden teeth, all these funny, funny things. But they say um, success, do as I say, do as I do, all those things. I want to do just to ensure that, oh, yeah. how to make a man stay with you, those kind of things that want to do. Yeah, so. And this girl just literally came out and started making a video talking about how if you want Uchenna, to stay with you. I can give you a special package. If you want flower, to stay with you. I can give you a special package. If you want Musa to stay with you, I can give you a special package. But she didn't give you a special package. <laughs> she didn't that. Well, hmm. Let's take it home now. I like, don't seriously. believe in that thing though. I really don't. Wow. But there are some certain crowds of people okay. that believe in that. Now, there are two things here. Do you believe in the existence of the special package thing is possible? Mm -hmm. Or, and do you believe that you can actually use that to Okay. Yeah. If I believe that the existence, yes, I do believe that those things exist. Okay. And do I believe that you can they, use it to Yeah. You know. Well some persons have said it works for them. It's just that I well, cannot you do believe that. Do I, you well but I'm feeling at this point. Do you believe you can use it? That, I don't I don't want to say anything. This one is for the people in, in it's for people to talk about and, and tell me oh. in the comment section if they believe in special package. Okay. But then let's take this one from uh is a Kweche, uh, Pendragon it says to be clear special package is meant to make a man do what he doesn't want to do taking away his ability to consent yeah. uh this woman and anyone who patronizes her are rapists and criminals <laughs> uh, 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 is it what now she didn't do it she just said special package you want to yeah, buy you back i mean you want to buy you back yeah. 
take that one from Olufemi. Olufemi said, this, the same Femi you are slander every time. Naim Una one use special package for. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you always cuss him out. You say, like, Femi, what's wrong with you? And then you still want to use special package and not your boyfriend. After all, men are still important. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's important for kids. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's trying to just, you know, Michelle, the matter of you understand what he said. Yeah. Well, this is from Oyeyemi Bamidele. He says that we look good for, we look good not for men, but for ourselves. We do surgery not because of men, but for ourselves. Mm. But now we have a special package for Femi, Awa, and Uchenna. Well, I need help. Why is it not tackling the female uh, folks Seriously, now? I need help. Why are you tackling us? Who I mean, do it for? It's I, not for male. Let's leave that topic. Let's leave that topic here and dive into the main special package. I beg, see, this okay, is... don't disturb us, so <laughs> don't let us roll special package on your behalf right now. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to this one. And this is from Miss Speaks. You want to take that one? Yeah, so you all uh, fellas, listen to tips on how to avoid a special package working on you. you. Oh. Wow. Man, if you want to Smart see that, here, man. Yeah, if you want to see that video, you have to go on Twitter and yeah. actually look for that video. It's not a joke. And you know, this girl is mentioning, oh, they have to do some white prayers. They have to do some incantations and all that just to ensure that, uh, you know, the special package works. But this is crazy, actually. I consider the fact that Nigeria is, uh, we have so many vulnerable people, um, mm -hmm. that if you come up with something like this, be it legit, moral or not moral, mm -hmm. people are bound to, like, you know, buy into it. And uh, before you know what's going on now, it's everywhere, just like the Yahoo guys and mm -hmm. fans came earlier on and all. This one now, before you know what's going on, guys will start by doing Yahoo too. Mm, but the, the the thing with the special package thing is I've I've never really seen the yeah. ones for men. I've always seen yeah. the ones that women can use for men. For men, yeah. And some some school of thought say it's good so that those men who cheat mm -hmm. they can get to you know put them together. I'm against that. Like seriously, those ones that why like do you want to use a photo? Why do you want to use a photo to like keep to your man? Like seriously, this is a way to do that. <laughs> this is a way to put them in their corner. You don't do that, man. But keep uh, your man with everything you've got, not with photo. <laughs> Why are you feeling attacked? Calm down, you just push your package. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we take this one from Kelvin or Dance, and he says that a lady can take up to 50k. This we're moving on to stories on Instagram, and Kelvin or Dance is saying this one. He says a lady can take up to 50k per month job in Nigeria, stay in that job comfortably for five years without asking for a raise. Okay, there's a reason why he's saying this. It's a long story, but I'll be able to, you know, cut it in bits and pieces for you. And what he's saying basically is that Women are very, um, you know, more like patient. Like it, most times when people go for interviews, women are one of those set of people who really do not negotiate so much. It's something that I have seen. It's something that I have witnessed, you know, witnessed. I've seen it that uh, a lot of times uh, women find it really hard to, you know, say, oh, this is what I deserve. This yeah. is what I want you to pay me. They just give in. Yeah, so. they, they are more like, okay, uh, if you want to pay me 50000 it's fine by me, I'll take it. But men are, uh, no, I want you to pay me 100000 because I think I deserve this, because I have this knowledge, I have that knowledge, you know? It, yeah, we, well, women to do, it's just that we don't ask, we don't ask a lot. And he was saying, the reason why he thinks about it is because a woman would definitely have maybe a boyfriend, a family member, you know, people that would randomly give her money. So that would literally make the money look like it's okay for her. But yeah. a man doesn't have anybody giving yeah. him. He has to be, you know, the breadwinner. He has to be the one fighting his curse. That's he has to be the one, um, you know, focusing on his life and everything that is around him and those kind of things. But man, it's not really like that. Like not all ladies really have people who are there for them. But then on the flip side, women, some ladies actually spend so much more the reason mm -hmm. why they wouldn't want to take a 50, a 50 k job because if you even if they have anybody give to give money just like men mm -hmm. they have a lot to spend money on the hair True. the clothing the shoes the yeah money, everything it's even more men will not spend money on those things they rather have they have responsibilities at home they can give it to their mom they're thinking of family but for women actually because we, nobody really looks up to them for money and all that but they have a lot Mm. They spend money on. So some of them might, might want to like reject this kind of thing. Alright, so let's take some people's responses on the page and let's see what they're talking about. And this is from um Prisna Blend Backup. She says uh I worked a 60k job seven years ago, rented a room self-corn and lived comfy and was able to save up huge 
save up hugely in two years. No farm, no farm or boyfriend helped me, but the company gives us transport fare. I feed from the transport fare and save all my salary for two years. Plus, people should stop all this. You men that have focus, save up. Yeah. Well, it's true. You know, it, there's, a, there's this stereotype that I want us to break. Some people see a woman and like, you know, like, I'm broke, like you broke. I can't be broke. Come on. I mean, you should have For what of things, yes. yes. Most of them are not broke, actually. Yeah, bro. Ha. When a man, when a lady tells you she's broke, yeah, check her account balance, yeah. You see that? No, I exactly. It's nowhere near what you think broke is. No, actually. I agree with you. Yeah, because uh, even like if she's that. broke digitally, even if she's broke, like yeah. her account status is really red right now. The next second, the next minute, the next I hour. Disagree. I disagree. Our lives are just popping. I, I disagree with you. But for a guy, it takes like two days, three days, one week before you see. I disagree. Don't think that the truth of the matter is that it, it doesn't really apply to all women. Okay. It doesn't because. There are some people that are broke, but they have people that they just say, please, I don't have money, they can send. There's some people that I am broke, but they, in their circle, they don't have anybody that will, please, I don't have money to send. Maybe everybody will say, ah, as it did like this, so you read, or no money and stuff but like that. But look at it so, generally. Women, men are the most broke, actually. I, I so not, most of the times, I will not tell you, will tell you tell she's broke like that, yeah, because she has... Room. Investment here and there. Which investment? That one there, I think, is your own. Okay. I don't agree with what I'm saying. Uh, uh, like, I seriously, don't agree. You have investment here and there. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, all right, so let's take this one from Doris Obi. And Betty says, Oh, so true, though. May God continue to open doors and create bigger opportunities for every struggling guy. And yes, struggling girl, too. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to take this one from Amgretti? Yes, yeah, so not entirely true. Yes, yes, most ladies have the luxury of the support system, but not all ladies use their private parts to get what they want or remain comfortable with a particular position. More, meet a competitive, ambitious, and strict woman, and your narrative will change. And yes, we have many of them in this country. It's the truth, because yeah. that's what I'm saying that there's this stereotype that they say oh women ah, they can never be broke because they'll always find a man to give them money it doesn't really work like that some of us have to really work really hard i'm one of those girls man yeah. but you know like it's yeah. what it is so some yeah. of us have to really we need to do like three to four jobs to just you know make ends just meet, meet and stuff like that not everybody has people who can give them money and stuff but it's what it is all right so we'll take this from from bolali she says uh kevin or dance always dropping facts as a guy, you support your family, your girl, some of your, some for your friends, pay your bills and take care of yourself, ETCs. We hardly receive, but we always give but, out. But that, that brings a question, actually. Men, yeah. female, ladies and guys really think have more responsibility. Everybody depends on who you are in your life. Everybody has responsibility. For example, Generally. Yes. Who but has, for example, or who should have, or who has more responsibility. It depends on how you, like, position you find yourself. For example, if you... Uh, a young girl and maybe you are like the first child in the family you will have more responsibility somehow but if you are the last child in the family you may not necessarily but most times even if you are the first child in the family a female mm -hmm. as soon as the second guy drops as at a very young age or something like he automatically takes up responsibilities uh, is that as if he wants to take that's up, take up no <laughs> it's not everybody that takes up responsibility you well, there are people true, that yeah, don't even care about anything right? it's themselves and themselves alone you know, you, the reason why you're taking responsibility is because of the sense of maturity that you have yeah. that tells you that, okay, at a certain age or as I am now, I'm supposed to be contributing a quota to the people at home or something. You can decide not to give anybody anything. It's, it's just how you think. But nature has a way of let's say, bestowing or showing you or telling you that, hey, you, you have a responsibility. Yeah. Like the man of the house, even though you have older siblings, females, mm -hmm. but you're a guy, you know, if you step, step yes, up the game. Yeah, you know, well, naturally, yeah, as a man, you're supposed to connect. Even yeah. like that, too, some women, they will still have this money and they see this guy is struggling. They, they What's your level of dependence. They see level of dependence on this oh, same guy. He doesn't God. have... You see, I'm really millions in your account and the guy is just struggling with 100,000 euros. And you're still dependent. We're not talking That's about this. We're moving straight to Tokema Kinwa. Now, Tokema Kinwa is trending now. Why is she trending now? It turns out that she's talking about the fact that she's been single for a long time. And I feel like she's engaged herself uh, yeah she's this engaged herself shaked. and you know she she likes the idea of a relationship but to find herself in one is a big oh. problem like well i can relate to i can personally relate to what she's saying because i mean i've, I've been there maybe i'm still there i don't even know i'm not sure yet but i can relate to what she's saying basically you know guys that is a business here guys <laughs> so you see how useless i am <laughs> <laughs> you know that's not it 
And then, you know, she was like, you know, people ask her out on dates. Yeah. She's like, okay, I'm going to go. Last minute, she counts. Yeah. And it happens too. Sometimes I've been in that position where somebody's like, okay, let's go. Okay, for example, somebody was asking me out on a date not too long. And I'm like, okay. And next time, I'm like, sorry, I can't come because I'm too busy. Not like I might be too busy not to go, but I just don't want to hang out. Just what I'm saying. But it's crazy, actually. So you, 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 can't, you can't feel this way. Life is not wired to be that way. Life is wired to have you have an extra space where you accommodate other people. Like it's sure. a companion or something like that. You can't live alone for a long time. Someone says something in the conversation that it's because you're not falling in love. If you fall in love, you see the different view of what you're just saying. You contradict yourself. Mm. Crazy. It's crazy. For you to say you're in love with yourself, you're going to break up with yourself first before you give me a chance or something mm. like that. You can't be everything all by yourself. But the truth of the matter is that if you have been single for a long time, and you can't, you are used to single does, mode. No, it does really have an like an adverse effect on you like you don't you don't find being in a relationship like something that is really needed like yeah, if you've been, you, don't, you don't find yeah, it interesting yeah, or that's the same, like that. that same that's the same reason like people who have been in a relationship the moment they leave it they are like looking for a next one do you understand okay. it's like okay i need somebody in my life but someone that has been seeing for a long time you just have that feel of i but don't then need again, anybody no matter how long you have been you have been in a relationship with yourself no matter how long it takes you have this part of you that tells you truth on daily basis. You need someone. You need someone. You need someone. Okay. It's just like it's just like self def- defense or what would I call it or something. Me, I don't know. Let's I take some. Let's you, take babe. some <laughs> comments. And this is from Kulevi. We say single for too long. You have forgotten how to relationship. Well, <laughs> exactly it happens like that. So and this is from I am Edosa. This this happens with independent ladies more often. We feel you, dear. Exactly. We are too. Oh, I'm too independent. I need to make money. I need to do this. I need to buy this for myself. You just lose track of the fact yeah. that men, you are going to be, you know, like single for a long time. Girl, go out and get someone in your life, baby, please. Mm. And do that. All right. So I want to take this one from Shaman Dreams. Okay. The guy said, um, she's right, though. We like to visualize the things, the good things in a relationship, but not until you get into one and you see it's not always rosy. Mm. Yeah. You made a you made a comment on that one that you know sometimes it depends on who you are in a relationship with. That yes, person basically, basically determines in relationships. So, some relationships you feel you are in a, you are in a hell situation. <laughs> yeah, seriously, you. I I want to start up a campaign about this because so many people have seen that in a pressurized relationship mm. where you get okay. Imagine even in marriage too. Not okay, relationship is just like a step. Uh, marriage is a step higher. Mm. In my situations, people will tell you, I need to go, I need to go home. My guy is coming back now. In fact, he will shout at me before I get home. I need to cook. I need to cook. The hell, like, seriously, that's a burden. Mm-hmm. You don't do that. It's We're meant to marry our friends and feel happy and feel good. But not everybody to marry their friends. Well, not everybody, but trust me, if you're not marrying one, you're going, to, you're going for pressure. It's a long one. Let's pressure. take this one from Brandy Wosu, and she says, uh, when you are single for so long, the idea of being in a relationship becomes stressful to you. Got it? Yes, I know what it means. I have gone through that phase. And when I'm saying that phase, I don't know yet. But still, I can tell you basically that when you have not been in a relationship for a long time, when somebody is asking you out, you just think of, ah, yeah. so I will not be dating this person and I will not start going to see him or we will not start having, you know, we will not start going out. Those things are like really stressful because when you are your own... Well, some, someone you know, says something in the conversation that it could be a little bit of... Um, selfishness. I actually agree a little bit because everybody has something unique you're going to give or you're going to be to someone. Don't deny them. Like like someone has seen something in you that you can give, you know, like it could be encouragement, it could be your person, your words or something, and the person feels that, oh, I need this person in my life and it's going to direct me the right, it's going to keep me going and all of that. The person comes to you, like seriously, what stops you from giving a chance? Like, you know, you can be the angel the person's been waiting for. Like seriously. He's <laughs> preaching for you guys to be in a relationship. Guys, please listen with me. Uh, <laughs> if right. I don't get to that, we'll get tomorrow. <laughs> Let's move on to us this wave. And he's uh, talking about uh, something that close to what we're talking about. Is your man your man? Hmm. Well, he's talking about the fact that uh, people come on social media and then upload their partner's pictures on social media and then um, he finds it really childish. Really, is it childish? Well, it's it's uh insecurity. Sometimes. So if I post you now and we're in a relationship, it's insecurity. See, I had a situation where I told someone who was very close to me that I may not do anything on social media about you. So I don't know how you want to take that. 
for me personally, I like my space, and I want you, I want everything mm -hmm. I do to remain on the low I'm because I don't want any form of pressure. I don't want any form of like if I post you today, tomorrow mm -hmm. they're going to be expecting me to post you again mm -hmm. next birthday. You're there and all of that. I don't want that kind of pressure. I don't want any pressure life. If I want to post, it's because I feel like posting. If I don't want to post, not because of any reason or anything, but I don't know guys have 1,000 or more reasons why they, want, they don't want to post. Well, I don't know about that one, though, because we, the female folks, we really like attention. And that attention is the fact that when you are involved with someone, I mean, except maybe that person is not the only person in your life, if you have them like 2, 3, 4, 5 to 10, and then maybe yes, but if this is... A guys, this table, this table, this table. Like, why would you not post me? This like, table. am I not finding it? Like, though? seriously, babe, I'll come, I'll, I'll, I'll come home like, and I'll why? see you and I'll sit you down face to face. We'll talk all the talk, we want to talk. Even you if you want us to talk overnight, we can you talk over the I'll give you all the attention you want I in the you house. Me, but on right? social media, forget it. Like, seriously, <laughs> I have the better things to do. So, let's see what people can uh, say about this whole posting your partner. Yeah. I mean, why can't you post your partner? I mean, I like it though. I don't know about you. But then, uh, let's see this one from Miss Benny. She says, it doesn't reek of anything. People should stop projecting their personal issues into other people. Yeah, she doesn't see it as anything bad. I mean, why can't my guy post me? Come on. Am I ugly? No. Oh. So, what's it about? Or do you have other girls? Attention seekers. Mm. That's not too good. Basically. So, this is from Omar Lugo One. She says, whatever I want to do with my relationship, I do. If it cuts, we move. <laughs> I had a chest pain. Oh my god, if we can't, we move. Oh, no, no, no. As a, so this is a precondition mind. Like, you know, that's just it. That's just okay, it. you want to take this from This guy Kodi said, um, Cody Black, right? Mm -hmm. He said, um, Post your partner or relationship, no be secret calls. Exactly, no be secret calls. I mean, why is your IG person? Why are you hiding this person? It's really important that other people see. So, you, that you can start sizing you, you can start. Big guys, who they size you? Know what he's sizing you? Nobody is fine. Nobody is not fine. Mm. I forgot that some girls or some guys have ugly babes, yeah? Huh? Yeah, this is the truth. Because they, they want to protect the image of their no, person and really, that of their lady. I, 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 don't, I don't agree that there's anybody that is ugly. Like, okay, fine. It's right. reality. That, that one is just motivational speaking. Oh, <laughs> see, you think I'm a motivational speaker right now? This guy is not my team. <laughs> I'm saying reality. Some girls don't just... Okay, I don't, I don't want to say ugly because, of course, nobody's ugly. Mm -hmm. I want to say some girls will I say don't match up or don't level up or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you post the picture and someone tells you, ah, maybe your baby that. And why do you... <laughs> Why are you with someone that you say the person doesn't match up or level up? Like, why would you be in your No, beauty is in the eyes of who? The beholder. Like, can't you see? No, you see the beauty, but I don't see it. Okay. <laughs> you see you know the beauty what? that I don't we'll see. We'll need to have this argument later. Okay, so let's take this one from Cintogram. It says, uh, Moral, stop posting what's important to you on social media to people who doesn't mean anything to yeah. you. And this is from Ademi Ade. She says, your relationship no be secret call to post your partner. That's somebody I said that one. And mm. this is from Official um, Ajokel Go. Do you want to take yeah. that one? Um, it said, both online and offline, if it's going to end in tears, it will, it will, it will, so what? Waiting con the sub. I post him, I will let you know if, if he did our DM. Yeah, so. You see, this is under pressure. This is under pressure coming up now. No. Is it not better you stay in what you don't know than to go and get what you don't know and kill no, yourself? But see, I've seen cases of where girls, you know, some girls are of this notion that yeah. if I'm going to date a new guy, one of the things I'm going to do is to post them on my social media the so chair. that anybody will get them. Maybe they can't own them. It's the truth. It's like, I want to people, they collect, people they collect, people they collect from, from marriage, not talk about relationship. What no, are you no, posting? No. When I post him out there, if now you're all you can't collect, <laughs> you know be your own IQ from. No, that's what that's how a lot of people oh, are God. seeing it. So it's like, like so people, oh. there are people who have this notion that yes, if if they are dating someone, they want to put the person out there so that any just in case of stories that are touch or so mm -hmm. that it doesn't end in premium tears, they mm -hmm. just be like, Okay, let me post this guy. And then uh, that's, that's what it is. <clears throat> All right, uh, thank you guys for having fun with us. Let us know what you think. Yeah, what you think about? Would you like to post your partner's picture? Is, do you find it interesting to post your partner's picture on your is your social media pages? Is it something that you find very interesting, very romantic? Tell and us women, the truth. yes, tell us. Let us know. Yeah. And also, what do you think about being in a relationship, or uh, if you've been single for a long time and then finally you're going to be in a relationship? Do you think it's? Are you in love with yourself? Or? 
to the yeah. point where you don't get to have any space for any other guy or any other girl. Exactly. So we need to know that. Well, let us know in the comment section. And uh, of course, my name is Precious Chukudi, and I'll be doing this with. Uh, this is Vine here, working with this precious beauty. Precious. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So we'll come your way next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.